guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my March favorites and I kind of feel like I haven't done a monthly favorites in a while and that's probably because last month I did a current beauty favorites but it wasn't like a monthly favorites so I'm happy to be doing monthly favorites again because I miss them. Before I get started with the monthly favorites, I just wanted to quickly mention that Angie and I are hosting another BU Beauty Seminar. It's on April 15th and I will have the link down below to purchase tickets. Basically, it's a beauty seminar. It's going to be from 7 to 10 p.m. And so during those hours, you're going to learn how to do a full face of makeup. But it's a bit different than learning on YouTube. You're learning in person. You get to interact and ask questions. I highly recommend coming if you're trying to learn how to do makeup on yourself, on other people, for YouTube, just trying to, you know, improve your skills. We're going to be doing a full face. So like foundation techniques, eyeshadow blending, which is so so major key like eyeshadow blending is everything so we're going to talk about the brushes the techniques like things that maybe a lot of people don't talk about here on youtube it's going to be tons of fun there's going to be refreshments there's going to be goodie bags like really really good goodie bags we already have tons of sponsors for the goodie bags we're also going to be doing some raffling including like the chocolate bar palette we're going to have amazing prizes and giveaways and it's going to be a lot of fun so i highly recommend coming i feel like as beauty junkies or as makeup artist we are always learning from each other she has tons of experience in the makeup industry and I do freelance now so I feel like I've been getting a lot more experience it's gonna be at Rosie's Manor which is a gorgeous venue if you check out the link you will see tons of information the location all of the good stuff and you can purchase your tickets through there. So I hope I get to see some of your beautiful faces there. Let's have some fun, let's take selfies, let's have a drink and just talk makeup. So speaking of makeup, let's get on with the beauty favorites. So the first makeup item that I wanted to mention is the Dior Air Flash Spray Foundation. I love this foundation. So it comes in an aerosol can like this. And what I do is I spray my beauty blender with this stuff. I shake it really well, obviously. And then I use my beauty blender to blend the foundation in. I'm currently using shade 300. I know a lot of the reviews say that you waste a lot of products. And I don't really see that. Like, I feel like I've gotten a lot of use out of this. And this is my most natural looking foundation. It's like my skin but better. I just feel like it's never cakey on me. Every time I wear it on Snapchat, you guys are like, what foundation are you wearing? Because it looks so airbrushed and so natural. And I think that's why I really like this foundation. It's the perfect undertone. It's like that neutral undertone, not too yellow, not too pink. And I feel like Dior just got this foundation right. It is a really expensive foundation, but if you like to collect foundation, if you are into higher end makeup, or you really are just looking for the perfect foundation for like your wedding day or prom or some type of event that you want to look super airbrushed, I highly recommend this foundation. I also love using this with a stippling brush, but I think my favorite is with a beauty blender. And I don't just directly spray my face because I don't want to get product on my eyebrows or on my hairline. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll spray kind of like really close so I can concentrate the product on my face. But I think spraying it on the beauty blender and then working really quickly helps me just get the most airbrush look and it also doesn't let like my beauty blender eat up the foundation so once I spray the beauty blender I'm like right away pouncing and then I'll spray it a little more and I work in small sections so that's the foundation I have on right now and I just really really love it speaking of foundation I have the LC micro silk foundation now I feel like I'm almost halfway done with this which I kind of went through this really quickly makeup by Lilith is the founder and creator of LC cosmetics and I purchased the shade Cameo, but I got sent sand and then they sent me Cameo, like the one I meant to order. So their customer service was really great. So now I have both shades, but I want to pick up all of the shades for my kit because this is just such a nice, beautiful foundation. I feel like it also looks like skin. I feel like the Air Flash and this one are pretty similar. I can't tell you if the Air Flash is good for oily skin because I've only used it on myself and I have pretty normal skin. But I do set it just in case and I always set all of my foundations. But this LC one also kind of dries, I wouldn't say matte, but like demi matte or like a satin finish. It's kind of crazy, but they say this is a foundation for all skin types, which I think is so true because I've used this on oily skin girls, on dry skin girls. I always set everybody, but this foundation doesn't budge. It doesn't move. I love the longevity of it, and I just feel like it's an amazing foundation. It is also a bit pricey. 
but you do get a pump. I don't really recall all the shades, so I can't tell you if it was a really broad shade range, but I know for like lighter skin, when I was looking for my color, they had tons of options, so I definitely want to pick up tons of these because I want to have them in my kit because I love using these on my clients because it makes your skin look amazing. And you can get that online or maybe like at an eye mats or something like that, but I purchased mine straight from the LC Cosmetics website, but that also gives me a really amazing airbrush finish. But I feel like the difference between the Air Flash and the LC, the LC kind of makes me look like a little more made up, where the Air Flash is kind of more on the natural side. And I use a beauty blender with both of those. Next up, I want to talk about this palette. This is the LA Colors I Heart Makeup Contour Palette. I have mine in light medium, and this was $6.99. I got this at Optima Beauty Supply Store in Queens, and I am obsessed with this palette. This was like the best $7 I've probably ever spent on a makeup item. These colors are amazing. They are so buttery soft. They are so blendable. You get amazing shades for what you're paying. You definitely are getting your $8 worth. So these are just a couple of the shades. So I don't set my concealer with this banana shade, but I like applying the banana with this lighter one on top of anything that I've set. So just to kind of brighten things up and give that area more light, I love using this on top. I also love using these warmer colors as like bronzer for my temples, and then they have an amazing contour color here. I just love this palette. I think it's a great, great, great buy. You really can't go wrong with this. Most contour palettes only come with cool shades. Like the Kat Von Z only has cooler shades. Where this one you could actually use to bronze. So if you're a freelance makeup artist or you just love to bronze and contour and all of that, you need this palette. I definitely have to pick up the darker one, but I love this palette. Next up, I wanted to give a shout out to the Becca Blushes. I have more of these, but my favorite ones are Damselfly and Wild Honey. I have Damselfly on right now. These colors don't give you that like rouged, pink, old school cheek. Like These just look really, really natural. And I like these kind of like warmer, dustier colors. So this is Damselfly and this is Wild Honey. So Damselfly is a bit more rosy, where Wild Honey is just a bit more neutral and a more like apricot -y kind of shade. And Damselfly has a bit more rosiness to it, but I love these blushes because they never look overdone. Unless I use like, you know, the wrong brush, but if I'm using the right brush and I'm using a light hand, I feel like these just look really natural on the skin and I love that they're so compact because I can bring them in my makeup bag and not worry about it taking up too much space. I feel like I wasn't showing my Becca blushes enough love and I have definitely fallen in love with them again. Next up, I want to talk about a highlight combo, so I'm going to tell you in order how I apply them. So first up, I have ColourPop Smoke and Whistles, and this is a cream, kind of like cream powdery highlight. So this is Smoke and Whistles by ColourPop, and these feel really fluffy and very marshmallow-like, and they're kind of like interesting. They're really fun to play with, and this is the shade Smoke and Whistles. It's a really pretty silver sheen. And what I like to do is I like to take the Real Techniques setting brush, which I actually use for like underneath my eyes, but I have another one just for highlighting. And so I apply that first right onto my cheeks as a base. Then I apply the Mirabella Swirling Pearl Highlight, which I'm pretty much almost done with. I actually ordered another one. I had purchased this on Holt Look, and I feel like it's the most underrated, most perfect highlight ever. This is probably one of my favorite highlights just because of the formula. Mirabella is a mineral makeup brand so they're mineral based so they're pretty like natural when it comes to their ingredients so you know it's not going to break you out. It doesn't accentuate any pimples because I feel like with highlighting it can go very wrong if you have a lot of trouble areas. Sometimes when you highlight that area it can accentuate pimples that you have there. This one will not because it's so silky soft and I just love the formula of this one the Mirabella. And to top everything off, I use Mary Luminizer by The Balm. This is an oldie but a goodie. I actually just repurchased this one on Amazon. And this one just gives me that like shine bright like a diamond kind of look. And I'm a bit tanner. I usually go for golden, bronzy highlights. But when I'm a bit more fair or just on the like fair medium side, I like going for these kind of like pearlescent highlights. And these are all just very buttery, very soft. And I really like that look where it's not chalky it's not powdery and I always take my beauty blender and I just kind of blend right over everything 
to really press it into the skin so that it doesn't look like it's just sitting on top of the skin, but it looks like it's actually shining from inside. So that's a little tip. Take your beauty blender after you're done and just kind of go over the areas and it looks a lot better. My next favorite is the Ofra Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Sao Paulo. I've worn this here on YouTube before. I love this shade. I don't think you guys understand how obsessed I am with Ofra Cosmetics Liquid Lipsticks. I feel like Ofra and Galactic are probably my top two favorite liquid lipsticks because they have like that moussey texture, but the Ofra one is definitely a lot more moussey than Galactic. But this is the shade Sao Paulo, and I love this shade. It's the perfect nude. At first, I thought it was way too peachy and way too light, but when I put it on, it just looks so flattering and it looks so good. I feel like I kind of like this as much as I like Bashful by Galactic, which you guys know I talk about a lot here, but this one is just a lot more flattering. I don't have to add anything to it to make it light, because with Bashful by Galactic, I always have to add a little bit of Pure Hollywood, but this one, I could just get away with wearing it with no lip liner, with nothing on top. I did add a little bit of Anastasia Gilded lip gloss right on top to give it a little bit more of like a golden sheen kind of nude lip and I love 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 Gilded right now obsessed with Gilded and then another liquid lipstick that I have been obsessed with is the Kylie Cosmetics matte liquid lipstick in the shade Candy K I do have two other shades but I think this one is my favorite the other one that I like Coco K is a little bit lighter and so I don't think it's as wearable as this one Candy K because this one I could just get away with no lip liner just throw it on and go Whereas Coco K, it's a bit too pink. I always have to add like sore lip liner or like a rosy brownie lip liner, but this one is just very wearable. I love the formula of the Kylie Cosmetics Liquid Lipsticks. They are really amazing. They're not too drying. They don't stain your lips. The applicator, the doe foot, makes it really, really easy to overline your lips and to outline your lips without using a lip liner. I'm not a fan of the lip liners. I will tell you that they are too creamy for my taste. I like like a drier kind of lip liner, but the liquid lipsticks I really, really love. And I'm doing a review on them soon on my channel. So I only have three shades because the other shades just didn't really call my name. But Candy K is probably my most worn because it's the most wearable for me. Wanted to give a quick shout out to the Brow Definer by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have mine in the shade Medium Brown, but I also use Dark Brown. You guys know I was obsessed with the Hourglass Eyebrow Pencil, which I still am. But I kind of have been feeling the Anastasia one a little bit more as of recently because... I've been liking that really arched, really thick, really defined brow where the Hourglass one kind of gives me that full and natural brow where the Anastasia Brow Definer is great for someone who already has thick eyebrows or already has hair on their eyebrows and you could just kind of like define it with this one. You could use this on its side or flat and you can get two different looks. You get like a really defined or you could kind of feather it out a little bit more. But I really like this because it really outlines my brows. If you don't have much hair on your eyebrows, I would go with the Brow Wiz. And if you do have a pretty thick brow or it's already shaped the way you want it and you just kind of want to define it a little bit more, give it a little bit more definition, a little more color, then I would go with the Brow Definer. So I always define my brows and then I'll fill it in either with powder or with the brow wiz, or I'll even just use the brow definer in a lighter color just to fill in the hairs. I haven't dyed my hair in a while, but I am wearing extensions, and so my hair just looks a lot darker when I have my extensions in, and so I feel like I have to go a little bit darker with my brow, and the brow definer has been perfection for me. Quickly want to just shout out the MAC 286 brush, which is a duo fiber small tapered brush. And a lot of people use this for concealer because it is dual fiber and it does come to a tapered end. A lot of people like it for concealer, but I really like this for eyeshadow blending. If I'm going to use one brush for my eye look, I usually choose this one because it is dual fiber. It just blends everything so nicely, so if you're traveling, this is a great brush. You can use it on its tip to really define your crease. You can use it on its side to blend. Obsessed with this brush, MAC 286. It is a bit pricey, but I'm telling you... A lot of the times I just use this one brush and I'm good to go. Like I can get like an easy, fast, everyday, like deepened crease kind of look with one brush. I'll start off with my lighter colors and then I deepen them up so that I don't have to clean my brush between uses. And I just keep on defining and defining, go underneath with this one and you're good to go. Love this brush, 286. I want to pick up 100 but it's like 
They're really expensive, so I only have one, but I definitely need another one. I definitely, definitely need another one. So I am going to do an updated skincare routine, but I quickly wanted to give a mention to the Drunk Elephant's Glycolic Night Serum and their C Firma Day Serum. So I have been obsessed with these two serums. I'm telling you guys, this has made such a difference with my skin. I saw instant results with both of these. The daytime one, the C Firma Day Serum, instantly gives you this glow. It's out of this world. I don't really like using too much of this, especially if I'm going to be wearing makeup that day, but it has ascorbic acid and pumpkin ferment extract, and this is a firming and brightening treatment, and then this one is a refining and regenerating treatment. And this one has horse, chestnut, and raspberry extract. These have not messed with my skin. I remember telling you guys that my skin was very inflamed. It was just kind of irritated, and these have just saved my life. These are just awesome. I know that sounds kind of dramatic, but... I have like a love-hate relationship with this one because it kind of like twists up. It just reminds me of like a Lego for some reason. The packaging isn't like heavy. It's actually very light. You guys have been noticing a huge change in my skin. Even when I'm wearing makeup, I feel like it just looks a lot smoother. It just goes on a lot smoother. My skin is hydrated. It's soft. It doesn't have as many bumps. Since I love the Drunk Elephant line so much, I kind of want to order their lip balm. Let me know if you've tried it or any other Drunk Elephant products that you love. I'm like all about it right now because I'm obsessed with those two products. And then this is the Shiseido Wrinkle Resist 24 Eye Cream. Love this stuff. This is their Eye Contour Intensive Cream. And it just comes in this little jar like this. It kind of looks like something like your mom or your grandma would have because it just like looks very old school. But this smells so good. It smells like Pond's, like the fresh cream. Oh, it smells so good, but this has changed my eye game, my like whole eye game. This and the Derma Doctor cream, again, I'm going to talk about these in depth in my skincare video, but this one I feel like is just so hydrating. People don't realize that not all eye creams can be used on your actual eyelid, and I suffer from the driest eyelids you have ever come across. Like, my eyelids get so dry. I no longer take off my makeup with a wipe unless absolutely necessary like if I'm way too tired but I feel like using those wipes were just drying out my eyelids so much so this just brought them right back to life I really could tell the difference when I'm applying primer on my eyelids before even just the MAC paint pot would just like crease up and look real crusty and just crepey and nasty and then all of my shadows going on top would look disgusting like it wouldn't even blend and it was just so dry and I didn't know what to do I stopped using primer because I'm like oh my god my lids are so dry I can't even take primer but this has just brought them right back to life and I'm just so happy that I ordered this again Shiseido eye contour cream it's highly highly intensifyingly hydrating so I wouldn't use this in the daytime before makeup I would just strictly use this for nighttime but I love putting all my skincare items at night and then looking in the mirror just looking like a grease ball. Like for someone with kind of like combo, dry, normal skin, seeing that like shine just it drives me crazy in a good way. But I love this. I love this. I cannot say enough good things about that eye cream. So that's it for beauty favorites. Quickly want to mention this room spray by Bath & Body Works. This is their bow ties and bourbon spray. OMG, this is my new favorite room spray. I love this one. I'm actually going to spray it right now. For me, this smells like my dad, and my dad gets me, like, really emotional. Like, speaking about my dad, he lives in Florida, but it just gets me really emotional because I miss him so much, and this scent just brings a little bit of him home here to New York, and I just love this scent. I love it. I don't know. It doesn't have a description, but it smells like my father. <laughs> it's more of, like, a mature, manly scent. It just smells like a gentleman, and that's what my dad is, and so I just love this. It reminds me of my dad, and it just... I love that my room smells like him, and it just smells so good. And I know that's kind of sentimental, but you guys should try it, even though it might not smell like your dad, but it just smells like a gentleman. I think the scent was discontinued, but I found it in store in Roosevelt Field Mall, but I looked it up online to buy, like, a hundred of these and, like, send them to him, but I couldn't find the spray online, but they do have the candle, but it's full price. So I'm like, mm, I don't know if I want to shell out $23 for the candle. I don't know, but... Bow ties and bourbon, huge, huge plus. I just love the scent. Speaking of scents, I want to just quickly mention the Giorgio Armani C Parfum Rose Signature Perfume. So I already have the C, the traditional classic C by Giorgio Armani, but I was actually gifted this version, the Rose scent, the Rose version at a Hey Vivala event, and I am 
obsessed with this one. Oh my god. I don't know what it is, but it reminds me of a mimosa or like a peach bellini. It definitely has a floral scent, but it's just so sweet. It reminds me of a really good smelling drink. You know when you get a cocktail and it just smells so good? Like while you're drinking it, you're just like, oh, I love this. It's like a fruity cocktail. I just love this set. I love it, love it, love it. If you like the original C, which mine was running low, so I'm so happy that I have this new one, you will definitely love this one. It's a bit more floral than the regular one because the original C is very sweet, like almost like candy. This one has a little bit of a floral twist. I wouldn't say it smells like roses. I would just say it smells like a martini, <laughs> like a fruity floral martini. This one is really good. You guys should definitely check this one out. I highly recommend it. I don't really have too many favorite songs of the month because I feel like we've just been listening to Pandora in the car and my favorite station on Pandora right now is Anthologia. So it's a song by Shakira, it's called Anthologia. And on Pandora you can make a station based off of a song and I'm obsessed with this station. I'll leave it down below, obsessed. Every time I snap and I'm listening to Spanish music, you guys are like, oh my God. What station is that? Because it's playing like the best Juan Luis Guerra, Shakira, Mana, like amazing like rock alternative kind of Spanish music and I've really been into that lately but one of my like more ratchet songs I've been loving is Panda by Designer. At first I hated it but I kind of love it now. You know what's funny? Google the lyrics. It's hilarious. We'll go slow. Nobody but you, body but me, body but us. I love to wake up next to you. I love to hold you close and not in all this. I love to wake up next to you. In a place of physical better day, better. Can I have a moment before I go? check out the link to the beauty seminar and you can ask me any questions about it if you'd like I will have a haul next up and then most likely a hair care video and then a skincare video my top is from Urban Outfitters and my lashes are Queen Bee by Coco Lashes on my lips I have Sao Paulo by Ofra Cosmetics with a little bit of gilded and on my eyes the glitter pigment is by Violet Voss and I believe it's called Caparella and see copper shade. I'll have that also down below. I also have my luxury for princess hair clipped in and my nails are a red color. I have no idea what red. I don't really do red but I went red. That's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.